Yeah. Of course, I was just thinking in true Bush Bee Man style, I don't think I even brought a smoker because this is a project on the way to the project. Because my smoker, you wouldn't believe, is sitting by my Weber because I found a new use for those bellows. One day, if we're clever enough, we might actually show you. So we just thought we'd pop down here and see what these popeless traps are doing since we've had them sitting here for a little bit. And apparently we're going to take them off and pop them in the freezer and crack the popeless off them. So who knows, but we'll find out together any moment now. Come with me and I think I might put my suit on because one of the boxes that are actually got that on are a little bit excitable and I'm a bit soft. <laughs> Come out, come out, wherever you are. Right, I had to zip my hood on. I had to take my hood off the other day. I just wanted the hat. Didn't even have it, just a hat, so. Oh! <laughs> How am I gonna do that without it getting filthy? Hang on, I'll just open my trail gate. <laughs> Looks a bit wetter than home. That's good. Yeah, awesome. I had a little song, but apparently I can't use my song because it's copyrighted. So I was just thinking to myself, it would be very nice with that bit of rain if we managed to get some blossoms before the girls get in all sorts of strife. So it's nowhere near as much fun as my song, but I'm not allowed to sing my song. So hmm, I'll be sulky. I will. Anyway, put my hood on. Shut up. Get on with it. <laughs> Oh, come on, Zip. What are you doing? <laughs> I can't sing that song either, can I? <laughs> oh, it's me. How much does it cost to get a copyright thing so I could sing a song? Just one. Just one song. If I made one cool song up. Oh, I don't know. Is they, do they charge you? They charge you for a play, though, don't they? Or something crap. So that's not going to happen. But if you'd like to hear the Bush Bee Man sing a wicked ass song, perhaps we could have a fundraiser and find out what the copyright would cost us, and you could all be in it, and we'll have a, we'll have a, I've got some really funny songs that I'm not allowed to sing, and not all of them have swear words for you concerned parents. Anyway. <laughs> oh, shit, what am I doing? Sorry, I'm getting my hood on, my suit on. <laughs> am I allowed to whistle a song, or is that in trouble too? <laughs> Oh, oh. Anyway, here's the ladies with the Popinus. Popinus, Popinus. Mr. Popinus himself. <laughs> Who dreams up these names? <laughs> I don't know, not me. Hello, cockroaches! Sure. I was thinking the other day, I wonder if um, when you make yourself a caravan, like a bee caravan, when it's really, really cold, you could sleep in the middle of the bees, you'd be nice and toasty. Because I was watching this thing on where were we i think it was norway i think it was and they had the releasing of the cows because obviously over there they've got to keep the cows underground during the winter is that jolly cold and they had a heap of people turn out to see the cows run out of the barn so how cool is that <laughs> i thought that was pretty groovy i'm not sure anybody's going to be around to see the bees released from the bee box but anyway maybe we could start a whole new thing end of the winter good morning good morning it's a jolly fine morning this morning. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. That's a song too if I'm not careful. Girls are being busy. Shh, don't tell them we're here. These are the friendly ones. Where's the sun? <laughs> so you can see there's a bit filled in there. I don't know how much, um, <laughs> we might need a few more trays full to make any worthwhile effort, but anyway, that's not the point. We're just here to make, make to see if we're gonna buy some more. So we'll just put this one back to bed, turn our lid upside down, after all their hard work to plug up the hole. I might be a coward like my, my cameraman here and go and see if I can find a pair of gloves. Because these are the friendly ones in there since they're not happy to see us. Hold that thought. <laughs> Does that make me a cowardly, cowardly custard? <laughs> I was with an old beekeeper the other day 
he was showing me his bees and he said oh just put your veil on you'll be right lad and I got three bee stings on my arm and I'm thinking to myself this actually hurts but I can't actually say it hurts because I'm you know with this senior bloke <laughs> so I had to just go on go on smiling and saying it's all good didn't feel a thing These guys haven't oh shit, these guys haven't filled in anywhere near as much. Just gentle. How much weight they've got in there? Well they've got a bit of weight on. Anyway, that's the next excitement, the winter shut down. <laughs> Golly. Well, the jobs just mount up, don't they, in this game? <laughs> Where's that going crooked? What's that doing? You weird thing. Well, I think if we were popular farming, it's about as good a result as it is with the honey this year. Actually, talking about honey, there was a little bit of excitement about our extracting exercise. And I was talking to my mate Les, who you're going to meet sometime in amongst all of this. I don't know where this is going to roll, but he was saying the reason why we have trouble here in the Mallee is because our moisture content is so low and the honey is so thick and gorgeous that it takes a lot of time to get out of the extractor. He was saying quite often they'd have to run their extractor for sort of like 25 minutes to get all the honey off. So I thought, well, maybe I didn't, wasn't quite such an epic fail to go around twice to get it done. But anyway, we're getting, living and learning. It's all part of the journey. Take these back home and chuck them in the freezer and see what the hell happens next. Why don't we make them poke for this toothpaste? <laughs> oh, right, oh, well, I guess um, this might not be the friggin' most advanced experiment, but apparently this is the go. You put these little mats in the freezer and then we can crack the populace off a bit later on. But, hell, I don't know. Maybe we'll just do the usual scraping it out of a box, but it's a bit of fun anyway, isn't it? The things you find on the internet, you just think, oh, I'll just snap one of them up. So, <laughs> the wife usually says to me, haven't you got enough bee shit laying around? I think I'll need to build on to them and fit it in. Anyway, we'll let that cool off and we'll come back and see what happens. Stay tuned. So as the sun pokes its head over the trees, we're going to poke our head in the freezer and get our little trap out the door. Hopefully they're frozen. They should have been. They're in here all night. Ooh, oh, you wouldn't want to live in there, would you? Whatever the Eskimos got on like that. Oh, great. Anyway, apparently the light's crap in here, so we're going to go out onto the outside table. So here we go. <laughs> Uh oh, <laughs> it's another project. I didn't know exactly how you got about this. Maybe you just twist it off. Do you maybe tap it? Nope. I don't want to break them. <laughs> oh, okay, well that doesn't actually work. Dad! <laughs> I'm supposing it needs to be a lot thicker than this little bit. Oh, golly. I'm guessing that's why Popolis is so fucking expensive, isn't it? Normally it's just a byproduct that you get off the box. And you have all these little bits sticking around. Anyway, I don't think I think we might not be doing this for a career. I'd be tipping that if this is on a really good year and the girls are really rocking their asses off, they'd probably fill all this gap in here by looking at that whole thing. You fill that whole line in and then you'd be able to just go Vroom! so maybe we were a bit ambitious and we've got a little bit early so anyway we're going to show you the principle that we might take these back down there and stick them back in the box we'll see if we can get enough for one little small tube of toothpaste uh, i think we've yes i think this is just the start of them putting it on you reckon because when it's in the lid of your box of course it can get quite thick or if they decide that they want to block up the air holes you get a little nugget in that so I think, anyway, first time for everything, 
is sometimes not actually ideal. Oh, there's a big bit that fell off. No, that was a bit of wax. Shit. I guess it's lucky everything, isn't it? Just this season's been so crazy. I don't think this is terribly successful, but the issue might be that where they are down in the Mallee scrub, there's probably not a hell of a lot of um, gum for them to be playing with or sap soothing things because I mean pine trees is their favorite thing there is a few pines down there so I thought they might but maybe they're not because it's so jolly dry they might not have a lot of sap flow going on anyway you'll get the general principle we're going to just continue on because here we are <laughs> and we're going to just poke it through here this is probably not ideal but it's going to be what it is I guess at least it'd be blooming Mallee Mallee Populus, Australian native pine trees. That'd be a whole new twist to it, wouldn't it? Instead of the English pines we grow, it'll be Australian native pines. Australia's native pine populus. Oh, look at that, that even runs off the tongue. I was reading up about what you're supposed to make with this stuff, and one of the ideas they had was to make some toothpaste. And I'm thinking, well, I don't know. I'm not sure about anybody out there, but I don't think I'm going to turn it into toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> Although one of my cousins who's into all that sort of gear, he said that, yeah, that's quite a common product. So I thought, oh, well, okay. Well, hell, maybe I will give it a crack. This is all a bit laborious, isn't it? How is it that everything in beekeeping just seems to test your patience? It all just takes forever. I bet you if you were in any other industry, you'd have some machine to throw this bloody thing in and just go bloop and then all the populace would pour out the other end. It would probably come out as toothpaste, <laughs> if you wanted it to. And, sorry, that is not the clone. I'm only a newcomer to this madness, but it's all good. Even though, even though I'm having a little bit of a sook, there's no machine to throw this in. It's quite relaxing, really. So it's, and it's, it's rather rewarding when you go to a bit of an exercise to get all this little tiny piece of stuff. You know, have to roll it up in a ball in a minute. Well, it'll be a small ball. We've just come back to reality now that it's time slowed back down and we're just going to scrape the rest of the populus off here oh, plus. at least it's still nice and cool probably wouldn't try and do this on a really hot day <laughs> i'm tipping we might need a few more of these if we're going to get any sort of large quantity <laughs> anyway you'll get the general principle of what we're trying to achieve here If you have a look here, we've got some wax. We don't really want that, so we're going to put that in one corner. And then what we're looking for is this darker stuff. <laughs> My lovely wife's in making her cosmetics out of this stuff. She usually doubles or triples or quadruples the recipe. She's probably going to have to half it or less or more. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know how much she actually wanted. But I think I think I'm going to get fired as a populist farmer at the moment. <laughs> Let's look this out. Look at that. There's a little bit in the corner. I'm not even going to be going to present that. <laughs> She'll just tell me, what is that? Maybe maybe if I got it in a really cool little shot glass or something and made it look groovy, <laughs> you reckon I'd get away with it? Nah. I think she might just have to wait until I do the winter clean down. <laughs> but anyway, here's where we are. So we're going to see if we can get this to stick together a bit. Which is what you want. <laughs> it's a bit like our honey harvest. <laughs> it's a bit grim. I think it's just as well I'm not getting paid by the hour. I reckon this crap would be more expensive than gold. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh. Wow. Wow, Mr. Bush B man, you've got a heap there. Do you reckon if I got I got a good idea? I could get the alpha that the Easter eggs come in, I could wrap it up and give it to her as a present. <laughs> she might think it's good. Well after all that effort I'll put it in a little spot and I'll wait until I get some more. Oh. Yeah, yeah. 
we won't be making that, that recipe this weekend, that's for sure. Ta -da! Looks like a little, looks like a little sheep turd. <laughs> anyway, that's supposed to be how you harvest your propolis, but I think we've not done so well with our, in, we might put it on the ladies in the spring and perhaps that might be better because that's usually when they get excited. Although, and most of the time they get excited when there's going to be a rain or a weather event and they'll block everything up so they can protect themselves, especially if there's a gap on the side of the boxes where I normally collect it from. <sighs> think you might need to buy quite a few more than two if you want to, if you, that's how much you get off of one. What's that? <laughs> no, 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 how much would that weigh? Not very much. Anyway, that's the general idea. Have a crack if you want to. Send me your photos and see how you get on. Catch ya.